Hello everyone, I am Deepak Kunyal and I welcome you to the series of tutorials on C++. On 15th of August, that is Independence Day, we conducted a test or a quiz having 10 questions where I invited around 110 students but only 90 students appeared. So this quiz had only 10 questions and I am picking report of one of the students who scored 10 out of 10 and correctly marked every question. So let us uh, discuss this thing. And if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these questions, you can always write in the comment and I will try to respond back them. Okay, so let us start with first question. So the first question is which among the following is true. So always keep this thing in mind. What is being asked? Sometimes this question can be twisted like this. Which among the following is false? So always read the question carefully, right? This is not for only semester examination, but this is for all the examination. So the first option is private members cannot be accessed by public members of the class and this is false. Another thing the private members can be accessed by only private members of the class. So this is false because private members can be accessed by private members as well as friend function of the class. So this can't be true right. Third option the private members cannot be accessed by the protected member of the class and that is also false because private member can be accessed by private protected or public any of the members now see the last option private members can be accessed by public member of the class and that is true so d option is correct after that coming to second one it has two name spaces box one and box two and has variables a in both of the name spaces when we are accessing these name spaces from main function it has declared one a variable again so box one then scope reservation operator and a so this value should be 4 another value should be 13 but when we are trying to output this variable so this will look into the local variable and local variable is a equal to 16 so answer should be 16 and this is why this option is correct now coming to third question in this case it is printing size of the easy concept and this is printing str len the easy concepts so you might be wondered why this is 16 and why this is 15 so this is because when size of calculate the size of a string it puts null character at the end and calculate size of that also but in case of sterling it only print the size of a string and not the null character right now coming to fourth question it has a complex class and has a complex constructor where it is accepting two parameters both having value 0 so if we are trying to create anything without passing any variables here or any values here that should be 0 but we are passing here so try to see it this object will be 2 plus 3i this will be 3 plus 4i and after that when we are trying to add objects here this is adding two objects means corresponding values and then returning a temporary object right so actually it is adding the corresponding values 2 plus 3 that is 5 and 3 plus 4 7 so this is correct answer now coming to fifth question in this case it is saying predict the output of following so you can see there are four options and it is saying compiler error because of this thing so here this dot has higher priority and it will try to execute this thing first this dot x right i mean in this because this is a string so we should talk about this in this statement dot has higher priority and this will try to execute this dot x first and then it will try to dereference it so that will give a compiler error coming to sixth question so what it is doing it is doing function overloading and calling sum 2 and then a and then adding these two things whatever these two values are and it is adding these three values keep this thing in mind that when you are passing a here actually it is adding its sky value and sky value of a is 65 so 65 plus 2 is 67 and that's why we have 67 as sum 2 and in this case 65 plus 2 67 we already have that thing plus we are adding 3 here then it should be 70 so b answer is correct for that 
look at this predict the output and here we have a constructor which is accepting two parameters both having default values one has default value n equal to deepak and another has default value equal to zero and then it is calling set name and set age functions so this is doing some validation you already have seen this example in our previous lecture so i will not discuss that much now when this is calling a student st120 it is actually trying to assign this 20 to this name n equal to 20 but it cannot accept 20 right because it is a string so that's why it will provide an error and it is compiler error right you can try to run this program and see the output in detail after that one thing you can do here just try to write your answer in comments and tell me how can you correct this error on the eighth question assume that integer have four bytes so what should be the size of this object so this is class test and this has two variables static int i and j so you can say that it has size 8 bytes but that is not correct and the reason behind that is static variable do not take size in objects so only this will count and that is 4 byte right so this is d option in the ninth one predict the output of following so we have a class x and then there is a private variable and there is a static variable static const which is having value a equal to 76 then there is a public member function which is also static and then it is returning a so in this case we are trying to access this get a function with the class name and scope resolution operator and that is correct you might think that we are not creating any object for this but yes this is correct for a static function we can call it without creating any object so this program will compile successfully and print 76 after that what should be output of this so we have namespace first int var equal to 6 then namespace second and here we have double variable which has value 3.1416 and then we are trying to add these two values first var so this is 6 second var this is 3.1416 but keep this thing in mind that when we are adding these two things we are trying to put or fit that value to integer value so what should be the answer of these two things it will automatically make that 9 right so answer should be 9 this is how we covered everything i hope now every question is clear to you if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these you can always write in the comment and i will try to respond back so see you in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much